Um, so this is uh, Paper People. I like people. I'd like some paper people. They'd be purple paper people. Maybe pop up purple paper people. Proper pop up purple paper people. How do you prop up proper pop up purple paper people? I hear you cry. <laughs> well, I, I probably prop up proper pop up purple paper people with a proper pop up purple people paper clip, but I pre prepare appropriate adhesives as alternative to a cheeky packet, which is a case of paper slipped, because I could build a pop up metropolis. But I wouldn't want to deal with all those paper people politics, paper politicians with their paper thin policies, broken promises that are appropriate apologies. There'd be a little paper me and a little paper you. And we could watch paper TV and it would all be paper view. <laughs> We'd see those poppy paper wrappers rub about the paper package or watch paper people carriers get stuck in paper traffic on the A4. <laughs> paper. There'd be a paper Princess Kate. But we'd all stare at Paper Pippa. <laughs> and we'd all live in fear of Killer Jack the Paper Ripper. <laughs> because the paper propaganda propagates of people's prejudices. Papers printing pictures of the footage and the terrorists. It's a little paper me and a little paper you. And in a pop up population, people's problems pop up too. There'd be that pompous paper parliament who remained out of touch and who ignored the people's protests over all the paper cuts. And then the peaceful paper protests would get blown to paper pieces by the confetti cannons by the preemptive police. And yes, there'd still be paper money. So there'd still be paper greed. And the paper piggy bankers pocket in one and they need purchasing the pulp of to pepper their paper properties. Others live in poverty and ain't knowledge properly. A proper poor economy with so many a proper poor. But why do needs get ignored? The money goes to big wars. Origami armies unfold plans for paper planes. And we remain in prison in our own paper chains. But the greater shame is that it always seems to stay the same. What changes is who's in power, choosing how to lay the blame. They're naming names, forgetting these are names of people. Because in the end, it all comes down to people. I like people. Because even when the situation's dire, it is only ever people who are able to inspire. And on paper, it's hard to see how we all cope. But in the bottom of Pandora's box, there's still hope. And I still hope because I believe in people. People like my grandparents, who every single day since I was born have taken time out of their morning to pray for me. That's 7,892 days straight of someone checking I'm okay. And that's amazing. People like my aunt who put some plays with prisoners. People who are capable of genuine forgiveness. People like the persecuted Palestinians. People got out of their way to make your life better and expect nothing in return. You see, people have potential to be powerful. Just because the people in power tend to pretend to be victims when they to succumb to that system. And a paper population is no different. So there's a little paper me and a little paper you. And in a pop-up population, people's problems pop up too. And if the whole world fell apart, then we still make it through. Because we're people. Thank you.